Hello everybody. How you doing? Up oh, there's not looking too bad. <laughs> like I said, this is like some kind of like I was cutting it and I didn't charge the thing. I you know I just bought it and I didn't charge it all the way, so I was starting to lose battery. I'm like, I don't want to start cutting the whole thing off, you know, start trimming it and then just halfway through the thing dies, right? And I'm like, oh so I just trimmed it. Anyway, that's not why this video is this is important. And I thought this was really interesting. This is a serious video. This is about mental slavery. This is about physical slavery. The pharaohs, it feels like the pharaohs again. It does. Because you, I've, I've, in the last two days, I've talked to two people. And the lady was the one that was a drug counselor. And it was just everybody that was living in their vehicles. Was cr hook was cracked out and methed out or whatever, and just very unempathetic human being. I was just like, you know, hurt my heart talking to her because I was like, and she kept pushing the fact that everybody was higher and you got to get a job. You can't keep living like this. this is, she was downplaying everything about my life. She was shitting on my art because obviously she's like, this isn't. You're not going to survive this. You know that kind of shit. It's like, instead of going, wow, your art is really beautiful. Good luck. She was like, oh, you need to get a job. You need, you can't, you know, you're old. You got to worry about them. I'm like, and then on the one level, you, I could understand. I could appreciate. She was like, you know, you're getting old, you know, help. But it was almost like hexing my shit, dude. I'm like, I'm trying to fucking steal my power. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm doing good. I'm happy. I dig my life. I have no responsibilities. I don't wake up to alarm clock. I don't have a boss telling me what to fucking do. It's, it's quite beautiful, actually. I mean, the surviving off my art is still kind of a work in progress. And I'm trying to work on other avenues, including, you know, I don't know, this channel. I don't know. I'm, I, like I said, I can't, I can't make money yet. Would you, yeah, Seagull, go away. I can't make money yet, so I don't know what to tell you to. Just, it's just a big, it's just a hot mess. I've been um, restricted, monetar monetarily restricted for some reason. I don't even know why. I just saw it once and then it disappeared. And I got seagulls just bugging me. Go away. I ain't got no food for you. They're so cute, though. Later, maybe. We'll talk. Anyway. <clears throat> but it was interesting that she was trying to push the whole get a job thing, right? And everybody that doesn't have a job is just a lazy piece of shit. And I was like, wow. You're just a wonderful lady. And then I talked to a gentleman yesterday. Or actually, some sorry, this morning. And he was working at Walmart. And he was talking up the jobs, how much they're paying at Walmart. And I was like... And I was like, what I do, I love what I do. I need to work on some stuff. I'm I like, I'm behind on some things. But at the same time, you know, it's freedom. It's, it's, it's my, I'm following my bliss, right? And when I talk about mental slavery and physical slavery, the mental slavery comes when you believe what you're, you're told on television and the media and you think Biden's actually an amazing human being or whatever. That's kind of, that's basically mental slavery. And the physical slavery is when you work a job, things you, hey, can you imagine working 40 hours a, a week at something you absolutely abhor, you hate, just for what, a day off to do what you want, to do what you love, or two days off to do what you love, see what I'm saying, instead of just do what you love to begin with. Rarely can people do what they love. And they, people don't push. I mean, this can go back to your inner child and childhood traumas and every child being given self-esteem as a child and knowing their worth and feeling their worth and self-love and all that. So when you grow up, you're focused on... You, I should have been focused on art a long time ago. I should have been focused on my dreams, my power a long time ago. But I had to find it the hard way. So children shouldn't have to struggle like that. They should be able to know their power and be able to find their way and know their dream and to pursue their art or their mechanics or their mathematics or their music or whatever right so mental slavery is putting you in a, a nine-to-five job and you're gonna be in an apartment she goes oh and then after a while you can save up and then you can get a, a little place a little square box it's a fucking prison cell you can put pretty pictures on the wall true but I, I'm telling you this whole mobile life is really cool it's a really interesting thing and that was another thing I didn't argue the lady about was there's a lot of people in their little sprinters and there's are nice expensive vehicles, right? And they're living in them. 
I don't think they're cracked out. I just think it's people are changing. It's the age of Aquarius. We're looking for different ways of living. Personally, I would love to settle down or at least have a piece of land somewhere where I can farm. I want to, I want to do that. I want to dig in the dirt and do that kind of plant seeds and stuff like that. That's something I do want to do. <clears throat> but I love traveling and I love, you know, talking to people, oddly enough. I love doing my art. And I love, you know, doing videos like this. But I'm free and it took me a long time. I'm as, I've been, I used to work my ass off for years. When people, when that lady was trying to act like I was a bum, I'm like, lady, I'm 52. I'm pretty semi-retired and I can do whatever the hell I want, right? I've paid my dues, man. I've done the shit jobs. And why the fuck should I have to keep doing it? Like, I'm good. I'm just going to live off my love and live off my art and fingers crossed. I'm not going to wood. But yeah, I'm just going to do what I got to do. And um, yeah, I love what I do and every day's an adventure. And I mean, this is just ridiculous. Look what I'm doing. This is what... Like, we can hang out for a minute. It's like, what are you doing? If there's a storm coming. I'm just parked here hanging out. This is my day. I'm going to focus on my art a little more, figure out what I'm going to do. I can't really paint today, but I can visual. I can basically do the 3D painting in my head. I can paint it in my head or think of ideas. I'm going to do a hibic hibiscus. I'm sorry, like a Hawaiian hibiscus. Um, so I'm excited about that, but I can't do that until it's sunshiny, so. But anyway, so this is my world. Freedom, baby. And yeah, no mental slavery here. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.